Welcome to our channel. The Scottish Loch Ness Lake is famous for its monster, whose existence enthusiasts have been trying to prove for decades. However, few people know that the creature, most commonly described as a prehistoric marine reptile called a plesiosaur, is believed to have more than one relative in the Scottish lakes. In this video, we bring you an overview of eight lakes beyond the famous Loch Ness, where mysterious creatures have been observed. Before we dive into this fascinating journey, don't forget to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. It means a lot to us. This will keep you up to date with our latest content. So without further ado, let's get started. Loch Marie. Is all the searching in vain? Loch Marie is slightly larger than Loch Marar, stretching 20 kilometers in length and a maximum of 4 kilometers in width. It contains several dozen islands. What makes this lake unique throughout Britain is that the largest of these islands hosts another lake separated from Loch Marie, and within it lies yet another island. This phenomenon cannot be found on any other British lake. Loch Marie also has its own monster known as Mukshilch, which can be loosely translated from Gaelic as a turtle pig. However, its existence has not been confirmed despite the significant efforts made, often at great expense. For instance, in the 19th century, a certain Mr. Banks from a nearby estate offered substantial sums to have one of the adjacent Loch Nabesta lakes drained to search for the mysterious creature, but to no avail. Later, attempts to poison the creature with bait were also unsuccessful, and despite their best efforts, no traces were ever found. Loch Morar. Did the monster attack fishermen? Loch Morar is located on the western coast of Scotland and, in terms of size, ranks as the fifth largest lake. However, it is the deepest not only in Scotland, but in the entire British Isles. Therefore, it's not surprising that a lake ideal for prehistoric marine reptiles also has its own monster. This creature is referred to as Morag, or Morag, and it's one of the most frequently mentioned Scottish lake monsters, following the more famous Loch Ness Monster. Just like its more famous relative, Loch Morar's monster lacks reliable evidence to confirm its existence. The most famous legend about Loch Morar's monster is usually told as follows. Two local men, namely Duncan MacDonald and William Simpson, were out in a boat, fishing on the lake when they accidentally encountered the creature. Enraged by their audacity, the monster attacked their boat. MacDonald defended himself with an oar, while Simpson fired a shot from his rifle the creature slowly disappeared beneath the water. According to the descriptions given by both men, it had brown skin, measured somewhere between eight and nine meters, and had three humps protruding from its back above the water. Since it was first seen in 1887, it was allegedly witnessed by over 50 people until the 1980s. Is there truly a prehistoric monster lurking in the lake, or is there a more natural explanation for what McDonnell and Simpson experienced? Loch Howern a giant creature with a long neck. Loch Howern is a saline loch, unlike other lochs with reported monsters. It is a remote loch, with no significant roads around it, and much of its coastline is accessible only on foot or by boat. In 1872, six people aboard a small yacht called Leda spotted a lake monster on multiple occasions within two days. Other individuals in the vicinity of the loch at the time also witnessed the creature and documented their observations providing extensive details about the mysterious being. According to descriptions, this creature resembled those reported in Loch Ness and Loch Morar. However, sightings have been quite rare since then, with only a handful of documented encounters, one of which dates back to the 1950s. One of these rare sightings occurred when a nine-year-old boy named Willie McKenzie was sitting by the shore. About 100 meters away from him, the head of an enormous creature with a long neck emerged from the water. Terrified, the boy had to be coaxed into returning to his father's boat, allowing them to sail away. Willie McKenzie claimed that he had witnessed the lake monster up close, an experience few on this planet can boast of. Loch Oich, a child-killing monster. Loch Oich is a relatively small and narrow freshwater loch situated between Loch Ness and Loch Lomond in the Scottish Highlands. It is approximately six kilometers long, not very deep, and connected to both Loch Ness and Loch Lomond. There are eyewitness accounts from people who claim to have seen an unidentified creature that moved between Loch Oich and Loch Ness, known as We Oichi. The loch also has a chilling story from the early 20th century, where a child was believed to have climbed on the back of a lake monster, which then awoke, submerged into the loch, 
and took the child with it. The child was never seen again, leading to the moniker Wee Oichi, the child-killing monster. However, whether this is true remains a mystery, as only two documented sightings exist, separated by 62 years, occurring in 1936 and 1998. In neither case did the witnesses see the entire creature, just parts, such as its characteristic humps or tail. Some skeptics suggest that it could have been an otter or an eel. Lock Sheel. Where did it go? Lock Sheel gained fame not only for its reported monster, but also because it served as inspiration for the lake located on the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry grounds in the fictional world of Harry Potter. The local monster is known as Silig. According to Hebridean folklore, Selig was a gigantic eel that primarily resided in the ocean but occasionally ventured into local lochs. However, eyewitnesses described the Loch Shiel monster with three to seven humps on its back and a long neck, more reminiscent of a creature like a plesiosaur. A Benedictine priest named Cyril Dikoff strongly believed in the existence of lake monsters. He served at the Fort Augustus Abbey, located at the southern tip of Loch Ness and took a keen interest in collecting reports and eyewitness accounts of creatures from Scottish lochs. For many years, he recorded these observations with the intention of publishing them in a book. Unfortunately, he passed away before he could finish the work. His notes provide detailed accounts of the Loch Shiel monster, which people most frequently spotted in the 1930s and occasionally around the turn of the millennium. Loch Lomond, a giant crocodile. Loch Lomond is the largest lake in Scotland and is part of the Loch Lomond and the Trossachs National Park, a protected landscape established in 2002. The lake is home to nearly 50 islands, many of which were recently discovered to be man-made and date back to prehistoric times. Two descriptions of the Loch Lomond monster exist. According to one, it's another plesiosaur-like creature. The other description likens the creature to a large crocodile or alligator. However, experts argue that a crocodile wouldn't survive in the lake. Local residents have reported sightings of this peculiar creature for centuries, but unlike Nessie and Morag, sightings of this lake monster are rare and largely undocumented. The only documented sighting comes from 1976, when journalist Mick Taylor and his friends claimed to have seen a massive creature, which they described as a giant crocodile. Loch Koish, a single mysterious account. Loch Coish, named after the Gaelic word Quaich, which refers to a traditional Scottish shallow cup or bowl, stretches approximately 60 kilometers west of Loch Oish. There is only one documented sighting of a monster in this lake, which dates back to the 1930s. A local lord, whose name has not been preserved, was fishing on the shore with two other men when he spotted a large snake-like creature with a head resembling that of a horse, resting on a nearby beach. A few unconfirmed sightings were reported in local newspapers in 1933. But apart from that, not many have claimed to have seen the Loch Koish monster. However, based on the description, it shares some resemblance with the Loch Oich monster, which was said to have disappeared into the depths of the lake with a child on its back. One theory says that the monster moved from Loch Oich to Loch Koik. Loch Arkig, seen by soldiers. The monster from Loch Arkig is unique compared to others. It is said to resemble a water horse from Greek mythology, although early reports described it as a plesiosaur. It was first sighted in 1857 by a hitchhiker named John Stewart, who was a friend of local Lord Malmesbury. Although Lord Malmesbury was a self-professed skeptic, he believed that Stewart and his sons saw the monster and recorded the details in his journal. According to Stewart and his children's descriptions, the creature had a horse-like head and powerful hind legs. In 1956, a book was even written about this sighting, where two World War II veterans were said to encounter the Loch Arkeg monster. Lake Monsters Around the World Lake and river monsters are not limited to Scotland, although sightings are most commonly reported there. Many other countries have their own tales of lake monsters, including the United States where some of the most famous creatures are the Lake Alkali monster, Iliamna monster, and those in the Hudson River, which flows right through New York City. In the Asian part of Russia, the Lake Brosno monster, often described as a dragon-like creature, has been observed. According to local folklore, a monster inhabits Lake Ikeda in Japan's Kagoshima prefecture. In Europe, outside of Scotland, there are legends of lake monsters in Lake Lagerfliot in Iceland and Lake Como in Italy. 
Similar creatures have allegedly been sighted in Lake Seljord in Norway and Storsjön in Sweden. Africa is home to lake monsters in several countries, and Australia has its own creature known as the Bunyip, as referred to by the indigenous population. That's all from us for today. If you're interested in videos filled with mysterious mysteries, dark stories, legends, or monsters, and you crave more, press the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos. Thank you for diving into the unknown with us.